G'day and welcome back to our Martian Mandate campaign in EU4. So we should really just try not to expand too much. The uh, aggressive expansion is going to become an issue eventually. But I guess if we can get Friesland and Oldenburg, that would take us up to pretty much the edge of what we could do. Particularly if we're not co Oldenburg. Who is in Genoa's thing? Where do we see it? Yeah. Alright, Genoa, Anhalt, that's Jelway. Although they'd already come in on our side. Uh, Mainz and Mantua. I believe the Mainz joined a trade league. Okay. And yeah, we can't do a war anyway because the money situation is ridiculous. Uh, we just want to make sure that we get military tech before the penalty from institutions is too high. Hmm. What does this institution actually grant us? Development costs and construction speed. Alright, the election was certainly not keeping him. Bernhardt Giselbert. Give us something good. Might have touched. Well, it's not as good as the well-connected advisor, but uh, sure. 934. I wish our first guy hadn't died. If we still had him, we'd be kicking butt. I wish these guys would cycle out every now and then without you having to kick them and dismiss them. Hmm. Alright, rival to rival. Which was who? I can't even remember. Somebody who likes us, even though we didn't touch it. Okay, accumulate money. We need 25 ducats. Paper relations for paper influence. Uh, yeah, 10 prestige would be nice. So let's accumulate us some money, which means we may as well fire this advisor. As good as the discipline would be. No, we'll hold off. We need the extra points. The papal state is the papal controller. So I want to get an active cardinal, but uh, we have to do development. I don't want to do development until we've done the next admin tech. We don't want to do the techs until we've got the renaissance. We can't get the renaissance until we've spent the points to get more money. So, let's fabricate a claim on Remen. It's totally the uh, solution to all our problems. Alright, but he comes back. Now, can we get another ally? We can get Unholt. Who will be destroyed by Saxony and call us into the war. We can almost get Saxony. Alright, Saxony's problem is... Huh. Are they going to be attacked by Brandenburg? He's rivaled Brandenburg. I'd rather... Holy crap. I would rather have Brandenburg as an ally, which we can now do. We need to have a positive opinion of them. Yeah, they have a little unlawful territory. Can you, we don't care. Give us the alliance. God damn it. Um, out of interest. He has no coalition after completely destroying Pomerania. Right. Well, we have to get an ally. So, yeah, we're going to try and do Saxony. Uh, improve relations. Would now be possible. Leave him there for a month. Alright, uh, pull him back. Almost perfect timing. Alright, offer that alliance. And then, can we still get Unholt? We can. That'll put us over our limit, I think. Five out of four. Saxe-Lamberg, Saxony, Gelray, Lubeck. Well, they're pretty well positioned. Alright, now, Friesland is still just with Oldenburg. Oldenburg is just with Friesland. This uh, trade league is annoying, but uh, sure. Hopefully that wouldn't actually call them in. Now, we don't have anybody that we can call in on favours. Gelray apparently wouldn't fall for it. Uh, recently broke a promise to give land. Alright, I was wondering why they didn't want the land. Well, I guess we can just sit back and work on our money for a bit. And improve with... Well, we're doing Brandenburg, and that's not really going to help. Uh, how quickly is our opinion of them ticking up? 2, 3.9 per year. Ugh, oh, God, that sucks. Alright, um... Our rivals... 
What do we do? Veden, Oldenburg, Friesland. Right. Need to... Where is it? Economic. Issue the embargoes on them. Already forgotten who it was. Right. Oldenburg and Veden. Okay, they're done. So, improvements with probably the Pope wouldn't go astray. Hopefully get our 25 ducats before then. No. Alright, so the next thing is getting the tech up. 1454. 1456, because that two point difference, yeah, because we're over. Okay, uh, Saxony, how often do we get favours with you? One every two years. We'll visit from some shady buggers. Spot of construction up or okay, yep, take the prestige. Trends down too fast. Alright, these guys, one every two years. They are one every one year. And Jelray, one every two years. Yeah, we really got to uh, do this ASAP. It's 55. <laughs> it's actually going to finish before this one. Alright. And then because we're so focused on admin. Ooh, lose your problem tradition. Um, we should think about what idea group we're going to do. And that's the guy we're going to want to vote in. Actually, how old is he? He's 43. Well, Midas Touch is okay, so we'll probably re-elect him and then see how it goes after that. 20% just from losing 10 Republican condition. Alright. Alright, done with Brandenburgers. So improving with the Pope. France is getting wrecked by Burgundy somehow. And it's just Burgundy versus France. Burgundian Provençal Excommunication War. Okay. Don't know how France are losing that. So, who else? Who's another elector that's close to giving us an alliance? Wittenberg, Diaz, Salzburg, Cologne. Cologne. He's kind of close to us as well. So, yeah, we'll improve relations with them. Offer alliance is no just because of army strength mostly. Diplo rep. Already being friendly because he's an elector. Alright, our Diplo rep is perfect. Hmm. Yeah. Needs to be able to call everybody in. So. Who is the newest? Saxony. One every two years. 1454. That's not too bad. Kind of lines up with the tech that we're trying to do. Alright, I think we'll go speed 5 for a bit. Problem is... This is going to be... Well, it's going to be about like 6% by the time this one's done. It's actually slipping back to 57. Ah, uh, because we had the uh, extra relation. Damn it. Alright, uh, how's the money? 0.16. Alright, well, as soon as we get this... No, we couldn't afford another advisor anyway. If we sacked the military one to get a diplomatic advisor, wouldn't be worth it. Alright, Tristan Munster's over. Monopoly company formed. Right, gain 50 diplo. Perfect. As much as I want the money... We want the Diplo before this goes up too high. It's going to be next year, 55. That'll be like now. This will be 55. Good. And we can invest in military tech. Yes, we can. All right. And do we have a good admin guy yet? No. We don't have a Diplo. Um, what do you call it? Diplo rep guy. So that's really just going to stay as it is, I think. Still behind the times. Yep. 
very peaceful people for a bit. Invest in admin tech. Good. All right, 11 years ahead. And I don't know exactly what I want to choose. Probably something like economic because of where we are. So extra tax, construction cost, inflation reduction would be awesome. Interest per annum, hopefully we'll never need to worry about. Autonomy change, again, we're not taking a lot of land. Land maintenance, yeah, production efficiency, meh. Development cost is going to be a big one though. And economic would pair with something in the military. Quantity for further development cost reduction. And land force summits, maybe. Um, I don't know, we'll think about it. We would actually just switch to Diplo, maybe. All right, recall from the papacy. And how are we looking on alliances? We can get Cologne and Lorraine. I do want Cologne, so get them now. All right, that takes us further over the limit. Which means that this is still just close enough. We do not currently have any military power monthly increase. Excuse me. We do. And we can just get it now anyway. Alright, costs. The exact 598 that we have. Expect to have enough in 1505. So 50 years when you get one point. Sure. Okay, so still behind. <laughs> Somebody else has already got level 5. Hmm. Alright, that's the thing I didn't mention. Uh, we are a special republic, the Peasants Republic, where we get the uh, morale of armies, I think is new for peasants. Can't remember what regular republics get. But we shan't be that for too long, hopefully. When's our election? 56. Yeah, we're going to switch over to diplomatic. Which means we will sack this guy now and save up a little money. Even though we do want to go to war, and that discipline would be nice. Diplo rep for way too much. Um, you know, we'll stay out long enough to get the mission completed. We need 26.4 ducats. So it's about a year with no advisor. And yeah, the diplomat should be going somewhere. So, not the papacy. The guys. Trier is kind of close. Mainz is actually okay if we head inland. We do have Cologne, right? We've got Cologne and Saxony. Still want Brandenburg. He wouldn't accept now. Because he hates Unholt. <laughs> okay. We don't actually want to be rival um, allied to Unholt, really. Bohemia was the next most important. Just neutral attitude and army strength. Mites are a no. They are a firm no. Trier... Or a less firm, no. Let's improve relations with Trier. Alright, recall from Cologne. Hmm, alright. Let's have a quick peek at Friesland. He's now allied with Mecklenburg. They're allied with Clev. Right, so we missed our window there. Unrest here is looking really good. Very tolerant. Separatism until 1480. All right, now the election. We're going to go for the diplomatic candidate. Don't have a negative navigator. Well, that's just completely useless. All right, lose the prestige. And diplomatic really sucks. All right, a couple of months off. Better not forget we're going for the mission. Stability cost production. I guess production efficiency if we make much production. We really don't. Alright, we've accumulated money, so it's going to depend on what this is. Save the people in Holstein. Uh, no. Improve relations with Denmark. Is that possible? It is. Alright, that's our mission. An alliance with Denmark could actually be on the cards. Part of this will be just army strength and neutral attitude. Alright, buddy. Uh, we're not threatened anymore. We're friendly. We're friendly people. And army strength would come up if we actually bothered to do the thing there. Um, our leader. 
There's a one, two, three. Don't mind if he dies too much. Guess we might end up staying a Republic for a while since we uh, didn't get to keep re-getting the first guy. I'm going to keep re-rolling him until we get a good first thing though. Oh, it is every, what, five years with these guys. Hmm. And England still want Condottieri. Must be at war with France. No. Aragonese subjugation of Navarra. He just allied England. He's guaranteed by Castile. But Aragon aren't at war. That war's just finished. Okay. Clan Ricard's going after Kildare. Jeez. Weird stuff going on in uh, Ireland. Alright, and close to getting an alliance with Trier. We've been warned not to go to war. Screw you, Denmark. Well, there goes that idea. And that means we've got way too many allies. So, Unholt we should get rid of. And then Saxe-Lauenberg if we had to. Um, yeah, they're not worth keeping. Let's come out of Denmark. Dissolve this alliance, unfortunately. They save us one point per month. And, I don't know, one Diplo rep. One level one Diplo rep. These cost 14 to get rid of. I think it's going to be worth it if we can get something good. Morale of navies. Completely useless. Get rid of this guy. Because that guy is more expensive to get rid of. Seriously. Spend all our money getting rid of this Egypt. Uh, one last chance. That's all we have anyway. Great way to waste your money. We'd rather spend that on getting more trade ships. Improve relations. Well, that's better than nothing. You have to wait for the uh, 10 months or so to get enough money to hire him. Alright, and how are we doing here? Right, admin. We have extra points. So, forgot to actually start boosting this. Which is perfect timing because now we hopefully get some extra renaissance for it. 10 development province, so that starts coming up. Plus what we bought for doing the um, development. Alright, we can go up to one more, can't we? Or can you only do the balance of the other two? Alright, non enforcement of ordinances, local autonomy in East Frisia. Yep. Would have already been on 90 something anyway. No unrest. Hmm. Well, it won't actually be too bad once the autonomy increase goes away. 79, and then... Oh, wow. Yeah, times line up nicely. And we could fabricate on Munster, but that's the only other one. For Osnabrück. Who we could actually call Jelray and Cologne against. And we could actually give them land, take Osnabrück for ourselves. Well, that could be interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and build the spy network up then. It'll give us more options, at least. They're allied with Viden and Jelray. Jelray, damn it. Alright, Viden with Hamburg and Munster. That would be perfect. Then Hamburg are allied to Bremen. Oh, that would be perfect. Declare on them, Koblidrize, Munster, and Hamburg. Except we have to do it this way. Koblidrize, Viden, and they call in. No, because that's... Damn it. I need to do it that way to get them out, but we can only declare on them to bring Cologne in. Alright, we're done on Trier. We can get the Alliance. Alright. Another long-term relationship with an Elector. So we will become the Emperor eventually, when we get rid of this stinking Republic. Actually comes up from power projection. Okay. 
All right, and the money is good, so we should have grabbed Vilbrandt Kniffhausen. Yeah. You know, we do have a little more. Let's get rid of this guy and see if we can grab... It's a Diplo rep person I'm looking for. But I guess that doesn't matter as much at the moment. No. All right, just fire him. Improve our relations. And you know, let's go over there for a bit. All right, actually, we need to be doing Denmark for the um, mission. All right, Oldenburg's opinion goes down or lose a claim. No, screw you, Oldenburg. All right, uh, yeah, forget about Brandenburg until the mission's done. All right. Oh, bit of a slower start than I'd like, but everything's kind of falling into place. Now, the burgers gain loyalty and influence. Uh, yes. Absolutely no reason not to take that. And with the burgers there, we can grant Monopoly Charters. And demand 50 and still get the bonus for a little bit. I could only really do the development cost bonus right now. Um, yeah, we need to do a little more. So... We've got more Diplo, and it does give us more money for doing Diplomatic. It's 0.04, so we have to go that way. Alright, that'll work out. Up to 15. Can nearly afford a second advisor. We do want to keep knocking out these. So that's 8 to 7, yep. I'm not going to do the military, but we're going to have to keep doing these. So that we can do this. You have to kind of balance these two out. But yeah, the money will keep rolling in. That looks good. Now, these advisors... Production efficiency won't give us a lot of money. So we're making bugger all from production. Stability cost. We're not going to do stability at all. Although, we could actually afford one soon. Because Republican tradition is nearly 100 again. Alright, gain prestige for a loss of papal influence. Gain papal influence for a loss of... Yep. Don't need prestige these days. Alright, and because we're doing development, we're still not on the list. Damn. Well, we'll try. We'll get there eventually. But I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hope to see you again soon. See you later.